Time now for a little naked earth and climate change shrinking our largest state. As Alaska warms, the icy earth it sits on, called permafrost, is thawing. And it's causing homes to sink and dangerous gases to be released, so we sent Dave Malkoff to Alaska to investigate. This is Ruth's house. Ah, well, I'm Ruth Macchione. And this is Ruth's late husband, Peter. December will be 30 years since he passed on. The house Peter built never had a chance. Much of Alaska sits on a foundation of ice. The floor would get wavy like this. When that ice warms, it swallows buildings. The stove, you can't cook. The frying pan would slide on the stove. There's only so long you can live your life on an angle. You don't want your soup pouring over here when you're supposed to be eating up here, right? So what's truly going on here? What is causing Alaska to sink like this? Well, to truly understand that, we need to take you underground. Right now, we're about 70 feet below the surface inside of permafrost. Permafrost is frozen soil and other stuff, too. Part of a shoulder blade, probably of a bison. So my name is Chris Heimstra. Dr. Heimstra works in a tunnel the U.S. Army carved into the living ice that sits below Alaska. The ice is pretty easy to find. As temperatures rise, this permafrost thaws out. Home's where your heart is. <laughs> well, that's what turned Ruth's life upside down. That thermal environment has been changing because her house is there. And when you have a permafrost there, which is really it's hard, solid ice. Yeah. it's solid ice. But and when you thaw that out, it turns into muck. And it just sinks down. Like and this. it subsides, yes. There's something else happening here, even more troubling than sinking homes. Where you don't want it to go is into the atmosphere. But that's exactly what's happening today. Permafrost is really the world's freezer, locking ancient dead plants and animals away underground where they cannot rot and give off greenhouse gases like methane. Even a few degrees of warming here starts to unplug the freezer. It's easy to get a couple of degrees up when it's at minus 2C to get it to zero. And when that happens, you get it thaws out. It happens out in the warming sun. It also happens when permafrost gets hit by warming ocean waves. Either way, it releases old carbon that used to be locked away deep in the earth. And, and life in the north is being impacted really heavily by what's going on now on the planet. And as this permafrost thaws, the ancient world is coming back to life. In fact, scientists found living bacteria 25,000 years old right here in this ice, a microscopic version of Jurassic Park. Underneath Fairbanks, Alaska, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. Holy wow. amazing. Did he say 20 million? Yeah, and can you think, can you imagine wow. being Ruth there in her sinking home? No, I mean, that's just oh. so sad when you see people's livelihoods literally <laughs> sinking into the ground. Hey, it's Dave, just one more second. That story you just watched is actually part of a larger 4K Ultra HD documentary on what's going on in Alaska. You're in luck. You can watch it right now by clicking this button. And since you're watching on YouTube, you can see it in that stunning 4K Ultra HD quality. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome on in. I'd love you to subscribe. If you just hit this button, you can see all of my reports from the last 20 years or so. So I have hundreds of videos on here on hundreds of different topics. Thanks for watching and hopefully you can subscribe by clicking here in the documentary. Of course, you can click here to watch that.